Namaskar and good evening. Today we shall see a yeah, small cap central public sector undertaking coming under uh, as a subsidiary of uh, Hindustan Organic uh, Chemicals Limited under the Department of Chemicals and uh, Public Enterprises. Uh, the name of the small cap company is uh, Hindustan Fluorocarbons Limited. It is established in a place called Rudraram in uh, the district of Sangareddy in Telangana. Uh, established in 1983 but uh, started uh, production in 1987. <coughs> now, it is manufacturing two, three important uh, fluorochemicals. One is called polytetrafluoroethylene, polytetrafluoroethylene, PTFE, some 500 tons per annum, small company, as I said. And another chemical called chlorodifluoromethane, chlorodifluoromethane, DFM, CFM22, chlorodifluoromethane, CFM22. Now, this PTFE is extensively used in chemical industries, mechanical industries, uh, electrical industries and uh, uh, <coughs> electronic industries also. It has got uh, uh, strategic applications in uh, defense sector and aerospace sector also. So, chemical, electrical, electronic, mechanical and uh, defense, aerospace. So, all these places it has got wide applications. Now, that wide applications has to be exploited by this company. <coughs> uh, we will see how it does it. Now, CFM, chlorodimethane, fluoromethane, CFM 22 is used either as uh, pure CFM22 or in mixture for refrigeration. <coughs> now, these are the end products. Now, what are the raw materials? Raw materials are chloroform and anhydrous hydrofluoric acid. Chloroform is one, anhydrous uh, uh, hydrofluoric acid is another and both of them are sourced from either public sector units or private sector units within the country which means not much of uh, uh, imports are required. <coughs> now this PTFE resin is called Hiflon. So this PTFE resin Hiflon MM2 it is a excellent uh, lubricant additive for lubrication. Mm, it is an excellent additive. Mm. Uh, yeah, for some specialized oils and greases where some others are not suitable this is being used as a lubricant additive specialized oils and greases wherever they have to be uh, lubricating effect is required there uh, PTFE 22 or Hiflon 22 is used MM2 Hiflon MM2 PTFE resin is used <coughs> now other applications See, it can also be used for lubrication at low temperatures in corrosive conditions. Wherever there is corrosion, there in low temperatures, this can again be used for lubrication. <coughs> yeah, so, that is PTFE, MM2. Now, the technology for uh, PTFE is sourced from France, Atokem France, uh, one of the world leaders uh, in fluorocarbons uh, and fluoropolymers. Now, HFL now owns the PTFE know-how. It has had uh, more than two decades of uh, experience uh, in dealing with Atokem France and it has trained uh, uh, many of its engineers in uh, manufacture of PTFE and uh, other matters related to PTFE. <coughs> so, it is selling it uh, under its own bra brand name. We have said Hiflan. PTFE MM2 is... Uh, sold uh, as a Hiflon MM to something like that. Now this uh, uh, <coughs> last 22 years it has got taken the training under uh, the Tatochem France. So it almost owns the technology. There is no problem uh, for its engineers to experiment with the technology now. <coughs> so a lot of R&D is being done uh, within uh, Hindustan fluorocarbon uh, uh, chemicals. Uh, R&D is there, interaction with customers is great. 
R and D is great, and uh, highly motivated workforce is there. Therefore, they are trying, uh, they are using this R and D to develop uh, uh, better and better products. <coughs> Now, as we have seen, we'll uh, uh, go through it slightly a little more. H now the products manufactured by HFR are chlorofluoromethane gas R22. It is called by code name R22. Chlorofluoromethane gas CFM. The next is tetrafluoroethylene. Tetrafluoroethylene or TFE. The another is PTFE. We have talked extensively about PTFE. Poly tetrafluoroethylene. And major raw materials we have talked about it: chloroform and uh, anhydrous uh, hydrofluoric acid. so there are not many problems associated in manufacture but it has to find uh, takers mm. so the cfm 22 is mainly used as a refrigerant gas now ptfe we have seen it is used in chemical electronic electrical mechanical everywhere and uh, defense aerospace etc it has got outstanding properties of chemical stability inertness low coefficient of fraction and outstanding electrical insulating and dye electrical properties so it's also used in automobiles industries mechanical seals packing for hydro uh, hydraulic pump pairs etc and tfe is used in uh, manufacture of a series of uh, fluoro specialty chemicals so hfl hindustan fluorocarbons limited has got wonderful products now its uh, board of directors are bs bhide uh, sb bhide chairman ts gaikwad managing director dk madan government nominee director let us look at uh, the uh, uh, latest results the latest results are somewhat impressive it is a small cap company please remember that and uh, it is coming out of its earlier problems that also please try to remember now the net sales uh in the uh, june 2017 it was hardly 8.88 crores it came to 10.86 crores in march and from 10.86 crores it has jumped to 13.76 in june so slowly its sales are improving uh, quarter by quarter so that much is clear so sales are improving whatever we have said about this motivated workforce etc uh, appears to be true the <coughs> net profits uh, was minus 1.04 in june 2017 it became 0.19 in september minus 0.39 in december 0.24 in uh, march last and uh, latest it is 1.73 so it is turning around it's a positive turn around case we can say <coughs> so uh, like that the sales have improved by 55% year on year and net profit has increased by 266% year on year so every quarter it is improving so that is what i am trying to point out <coughs> now equity share capital is 19.61 crores so compared to that the sales are not very impressive as on today it is still a small cap company i think there is a, a lot more way to go it has already turned down uh, turned around and maybe it will be improving uh, every quarter from now onwards now basic eps is 0.67 market price is 21.6 very low only and that has uh, uh, come after an improvement of 82% it was just uh, 11.9 one year ago now it is uh, 21.6 or 22 let us say from 11 to 22 hmm? so like that <clears throat> now price earning is 8 uh, neither uh, too uh, it is not too low for a turn around company let us say but uh, it's not high at all definitely it is not high now supposing it is likely to repeat this uh, performance in the next quarter uh, further improvement further improvement like that then uh, uh, investors uh, should be attracted towards this company though it is a cpsc cs public sector 
unit. Volume is low, 2550 transactions only. Hmm? So that is also one of the things that we need to understand. So it is a public sector under, uh, undertaking. It has turned around and the sales and profits are improving. And hopefully, but not definitely, the sales and profits will in, uh, improve further in times to come. Uh, it has got applications in the uh, defense and aerospace units and also in many other electrical, electronic, chemical, uh, mechanical, uh, so many uh, as a refrigerant gas, so many things we have seen. So keep an eye on this and those who can uh, afford to take a little bit of risk can take a risk. Looks like that. Uh, it's not yet out of the woods, I would say. Uh, but every quarter it is improving in sales. Uh, profits are slightly fluctuating. So they have to stabilize. And uh, uh, I think uh, these fluorochemicals have got uh, vast applications. This company uh, as a public sector unit has to come out of its uh, shell and uh, uh, try to market its products. Manufacture more, market more. If it does that, the investors in uh, this company will also shine. The company will shine, investors also will shine. So, uh, always I advise uh, my uh, audience to listen twice or thrice so that you understand the plus and minus both and then take your investors, uh, investment decisions. Please tell your uh, other investor friends also, let the investor uh, group grow, go on growing. India needs that uh, more than 25% of uh, the people should invest in. No, hardly 1%, 2% people only are investing. But we need uh, investment by not less than 25% of the people. Then only industrial uh, progress will come. People should understand industry. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you know, closures, unnecessary closures, etc. will be happening. And uh, um, the... And uh, necessary capital will not come. If investors are not there, where from the capital will come? India has a huge potential for establishing industries. Every state has that potential. But uh, may some states are tapping that potential. Some states are not tapping that potential. Some states are even discouraging, <coughs> unfortunately. So, anyway, many industries are turning around. Many industries are growing. Keep an eye and uh, find out the best for invest investing hmm? have a portfolio based approach uh, at least uh, 10 to 15 companies minimum you should invest in uh, preferably equally hmm? <coughs> but approximately equally thank you for listening uh, i will come up before you with another uh, attractive stock thank you